Our other top story right now, Lunar New Year celebrations returning to San Francisco today. Chinatown was buzzing. Yeah, it's been an especially difficult two years for the Chinatown community, right? As NBC Bay Area's Christy Smith shows us, people hope it signals a new beginning. <laughs> A small procession headed down Grant Avenue Saturday morning near the Chinatown Kite Shop. It's a good start, and I hope we can uh, yeah, start bringing the people, you know, come in. The owner is hoping Lunar New Year festivities will be a boost and that COVID cases keep dropping after the Omicron surge. For a while now, pandemic-related closures and impacts have been tough on businesses in Chinatown. Very hard. You know, we have even were close about almost over half a year. Yeah, the Grand Avenue is primarily for tourists. City leaders and law enforcement were on hand with the flower market fair underway this weekend. 100 booths um, and basically selling anything from lucky decorations to flowers to fruits to anything to decorate and prepare the home for Chinese New Year. This is the year of the tiger. The year of the tiger officially starts February 1st. William G coordinates for the Chinese New Year parade. It's set to return after COVID canceled it last year and other events are back too. We're grateful that we're uh, that, that we're partnering with the city of San Francisco to allow us to actually open this event to bring back tourism to San Francisco to Chinatown. He believes turnout today was better than expected and says safety remains a priority. We are still under a pandemic and so we are trying to deliver this event uh, as healthy and safely as possible. All of our volunteers, all of our staff workers, uh, all the uh, booth uh, workers uh, have been asked to be fully vaccinated and verified as well as wear masks. Visitors today were glad to support. It's just like such a great way for the community to come together and really just like enjoy like this time of the year. In San Francisco, Christy Smith, NBC Bay Area News.